What is up guys? Welcome back to Zack and Dad. Today we're going to be trying Ruffles. Ruffles, some new kind of chips that are out there. So let's get right to the ridges, huh? He's Zack. And he is Dad. And, and together, together we're, we're Zack and Dad. Dad. Well, hello there out in the Z and D production land. We are Zach and Dad. Thanks for watching us. We really do appreciate that. We are the place for food reviews, food challenges, and good old ruffles with ridges fun. So if you like what you see here, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell for, notica for notifications, and hit the all so you never miss a beat. First chip. We're going to be trying Flaming Hot Barbecue Ruffles. Now, what these are is these are, when who's the person at the bottom? Jason Tatum. Um, I'm not quite sure. These were both, um, that's kind of loud. Um, they're both kind of, uh, they're both kind of spicy. Uh, the chips that we got, they're kind of spicy. Um, and they're both kind of new. Um, the inf the only real information I found on these is that I think they're from Canada. So if you're from Canada, help us out. Um, I could not find any information based here in the United States on flaming. This is flaming hot barbecue, and somehow it's connected by Jason Tatum. So I don't know if Jason loves these, um, but flaming hot barbecue might have originated from Canada. I'm not sure. So anyway, they look like. Let's see, can you see them from there? Look like that. Um, they're supposed to be spicy and you you know us, we love our spice. Um, I, I, I saw um, Vito the Kid and his father Chris uh, try these and I said, ooh, I'd like to get these and see how they are. Um, they have a lot of powder, as you can see from my son and I, a lot of uh, that, uh, that flaming hot powder in there. You wanna give it a smell? Oh, what do you smell off the bat? Nothing. Oh, you don't? Oh, I smell barbecue right away. Well, let's see what happens. Here we go. Chip, Chip it, it, dip it. Hmm. I'm going to try another one. There's these chips out there in Canada called All Dressed, which is good. I would hate to be, you know, all naked. Um, so it is good that you're all dressed. Uh, my mom always, my mom always told me when I was growing up, it's good to be all dressed. Um, have you ever heard of all dressed chips? I don't know. There, it's, it's something special up in Canada, and if you're in Canada, you know what I'm talking about. I would love to try those sometime. Um, I heard those are really good. Um, hopefully, you're having a great day out there. So, what do you, man? I don't even know what to think about these. They are not standing out to me. It's not like, wow, that was like really barbecue -y. I don't know, you first. What do you think about these? Um, they're just ruffles with... Ridges? With just flaming hot powder. Yeah, I don't even know if I really taste the flaming hot. What I'm getting here is ruffles, of course, with ridges. But to me, it really just tastes like ruffles barbecue chips. Maybe with a little bit of a kick in the back. Yeah, so nothing much from there. Let's do a flavor rating. All right, let's just wait. Okay, let's do it. Hold on. Let me see. Okay. Three, two, one, six. Seven. Oh, you'll go to a seven? I don't know. Seven is just like, I don't... Well, six, you know? All right, well then let's go six. All right. Um, now, the thing is, though, with these... Uh, um. Let's go spice rating because they're supposed to be they're supposed to be flaming hot. No, so, there isn't. There you really isn't. don't get anything. Yeah, let's. Yeah, I really barely got anything either. I don't think we have to do. These were. I don't remember the price tag on them. I should have remembered, but I I didn't remember anyway. All right, why don't you open those up? And as my son opens those up, give us son a thought. Okay. Well, you smell never it. let me finish. Smell it. Oh my goodness! What do you smell right away? Cheesy, yeah. cheese right away. Now these are, um, again, these are new, and it actually does say new. These are Ruffles Double Crunch. These uh, the other ones were. These are Ruffles Double Crunch, spicy cheddar Jack. So that should be 
That should be interesting here. And yeah, these are definitely thicker. They have the ridges, ridges on there, really thick ridges with a lot of cheese dust on them. So let's try to see what you chip it. Dip. Literally dip it. I'm gonna try that too so I get it. Mm. Well, we're savoring this. Give us a thumbs up. He's liking those. Give us a thumbs up if you like spicy chips. I know we do. This was actually a disappointment. Yeah. Um, get that thing away. Yeah, I know. That's. Uh, we'll get that to Lupe. Uh, <laughs> oh, matter of fact, we will because Lupe saw. I'll just. I don't know if you know. Lupe saw that this said Jason Tatum on it. And he's like, "Oh, it's cool. This is Jason. Good. You can have him." Matter of fact, knowing Lupe, he will really appreciate this, and he might keep the bag as a souvenir in his in his room too. So we'll see. Matter of fact, sometimes, sometimes um, his room smells like this. <laughs> Um, but give us a thumbs up if you like spicy chips. Would you try either of these? Maybe not these, but would you try either of these? And then what is your go-to flavor chips? What is your go-to? If you had a flavor chip you would grab, what would be yours? If you were like, I'm going to the store and grabbing flavor chips. Oh, um, Pocky. Pocky or uh, what was the other brand? Taki. 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 Or, yeah, those are his biggies. Uh, mine would probably be, I like cheddar. Uh, cheddar or so, a lot of plain, just plain. Uh, and then what's your brand name? We already, he already knows his brand name. What is your brand name that you like? And then are you on team? Now here's a few items. Are you on team kettle chips, uh, wave like uh, ruffles like these, uh, plain chips, just kind of regular, just kind of Jane plain chips there, uh, Pringles. Um, what kind of chips do you like the best? Um, and you just crushed probably all those in the box. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's, it shows here, matter of fact, son, you'll probably agree with me. It says here it's two times the crunch. It does show a, a picture of uh, uh, a couple peppers it is on two there. Times the crunch. There's, this is a night and day. Night and day. Do, do, would you agree with me? Night and day? What does that mean? That means one is, I mean, night and day, like this, they're, they're so different, like taste wise. Taste wise. Um, I, I don't, yeah, the, what do you think about these? I mean, do you really like them? They're okay. Yeah, they're really good. I, I will say, if I had to pick, if you had to pick one, which one you go, yeah. Easily, easily. These are very good, very highly recommended. Do you get a kick out of it, though, too? Yeah. Yeah, a little nice, a nice, a really good cheddar. The cheddar this is... This isn't even flaming hot, but it's mm -mm. more than... Very cheddar forward with a good kick of the... Um, I wonder if that's like a pepper jack or something. I'm not sure. Let's give it a flavor rating. Okay. Three, two, two one, seven. Eight. eight. You gave it a... Oh, yeah, yeah. You went from a seven to six. Eight. Very good. Uh, I think uh, Zach and I would very much recommend these for your festivities. Now, would these be better than biscuits and gravy? No. No, no, no. Now, how about if you dip these in gravy? Mm-hmm. They very much good. They very much good. Um, anyway, no, nope, very good. Again, I would go out and get these. Maybe just, I don't know. Uh, Jason Tatum doesn't even save these, so sorry about that. You might be different. Let us know. Uh, let us know. We might be completely wrong. You might say these were your favorite. Whatever. We want to hear from you. We really do appreciate the comments. Again, here's the thing. We really do like it when you try and let us know. We really do like that. Are we making a difference? Are we recommending them? Are, are, do you take our review seriously? We do really appreciate that. All right. Anyway, um, we do appreciate you being with us today. Is there anything you want to just close out today with? No. Nope. Great. It was a, a good old review, and we hope you're better for it. Uh, there's probably some new people out there that have been watching us, but they're like, how do I get more of that father and son duo called Zach and Dad? You guys may like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications so you guys get notified fire up video awesome please like us on those facebooks we really would appreciate that and again get us closer to a thousand subs because there's a lot of great subs out there that we want to connect with live but that can only happen when we get up to a thousand subs um we're getting close to 900 help us out there share it wherever you can uh that would be awesome uh there's a thousand other youtube channels out there that we love and we watch uh, on a daily basis. But we do thank you for taking a small little portion of your YouTube experience with the father and son that love what we're doing. We really hope it shows. So um, thanks for being with us today. And as we always end, we'll see you on the flippy flop, guys. Take care, God bless, and we'll see you in the next video. All right. God bless you guys. We love you. Thanks. Woo.